Good evening, this is Mark Espy with MarketTamer.com, also known as the Robin Hood Trader, and it is April 9th, and we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Before we begin, I must remind everybody that everything we speak about this evening is for educational purposes only and never to be rec uh, construed as a recommendation to buy or sell anything. Well, as you can see here, the move up from uh, late February's doji it has been quite remarkable. There's been only two, maybe three days that it have exhibited any kind of bearish sentiment at all. And then you can see here it began to flatten out for the last couple of weeks. And more bearish sentiment inter interspersed with the bullish moves. Today was a very bullish move, but it was put in on, again, unimpressive volume. And as you can see, the volume which should be the fuel and the uh, confirmation of the quality of the move has not been very impressive at all for the last month and a half to two months. And in fact, for the last three months, it hasn't, hasn't really been that impressive. So my sense is it's not so much a tremendous bullish market and with a lot of bullish sentiment, but a lack of bearish intervention. And I believe that there's a lot of cash still sitting on the sidelines uh, befuddled and wondering what to do. So with that, I would say you can certainly remain long uh, if you choose to. I have been long, but I've been uh, hedged heavily on the way up. So uh, obviously uh, I could have uh, done better had I just been full-fledged bullish, but I, th I think that that's uh, probably not a prudent thing to do, especially when we've been in this area that has been considered to be overbought for the last several weeks, maybe even months. So where is it going to go and, and what do I look for at this juncture? Well, I think that if it breaks out of the, this little channel, this little flag that it's in right now, I think that it could easily move up to 11,500. Uh, there's a Fibonacci retracement at that level, about a 50% Fibonacci retracement. Uh, and I believe there's, uh, from months past, some areas of confluence that indicate that that should be an area that may provide some resistance. If it breaks down, what I'm looking for is something to break below this, the beginning of this flag, and that was put in at 10,816, and that would be at this level right here. The next area would be the swing high from 10,700, which uh, it only just briefly paused there. I felt it was gonna be a much stronger resistance than what it was, and that should act as support as well. Then on the way down, we have this channel, an extension of that channel right here, which is about 10,500 and the lower part of that channel, which is just below 10,300. We have the swing low here, which is at uh, 98.35 and down here at 9,700 should provide support as well. The stochastics is not helping us at all in terms of telling us really any market direction other than the fact that we're overbought, which I think we all know. And the MACD was beginning to uh, roll over and look like it was going to roll over and begin to provide a uh, bearish move. We also have the histogram, which is providing a bearish divergence, which we need to respect. So I am still long, but I am um, cautiously long. So with that, we're going to go ahead and move over and take a look at the SPX.